Hello, I'm Miro Blasco, uh, and uh, today I would like to do a, a small session about uh, practical debugging of Sparkle queries using uh, algebra or transition of uh, query syntax to algebra. Um, you all know Sparkle, so I won't uh, take too much time here. Sparkle query uh, has uh, many parts, where part. Uh, I, I will be talking about uh, select Sparkle queries only for today. And uh, there are uh, some parts which uh, are called in specification, for example, basic pattern, like triple pattern here you can see, or here is the filter. Uh, here is some union operator. Uh, here is uh, optional uh, clause, I think it's called. Uh, and they all mean something uh, different. Uh, I would point out that uh, there is also this uh, parentheses, which uh, indicates some group patterns. So if you have basic pattern like person, person is person and person has age, age, then uh, if you put it into parentheses, you create group pattern of having two basic patterns. Uh, also one note here, you can have even empty, uh, empty uh, group pattern. So if you would re remove everything between where uh, parentheses and if you would remove everything from here, you would uh, get actual result uh, and you would uh, return one row of uh, containing uh, unbound variables of person and image. So if you would remove the content of where uh, this is called empty group pattern, <clears throat> and I will reference to that later. Uh, so here is an example query, uh, which I believe could ask for person that has age uh, that at least 18 years old. So I, uh, well, at least 19, because here is not uh, equals. So at least 19 years old. Uh, and uh, this person cannot have uh, siblings that are from different country than Slovakia, so cannot have uh, cannot have siblings outside of Slovakia. And uh, we take, uh, we also um, retrieve image of that person, but only uh, as optional. So it might not exist and it might not be bound at the, at the result of the query. Uh, the uh, query returns, as you probably know, uh, some rows and uh, those rows can repeat in specification i believe it's called they call it multi-set so it's not set but uh, evidently you you can uh, you can repeat elements and they the the, the multi-set uh, it's because it it is not ordered but uh, of course um uh, in in sparkle you have uh, you have operators for for ordering, so you can order order it as well. Uh, and uh, uh, you basically, what you retrieve those rows that I was talking about, I believe this is called um, solution binding. Uh, yeah, so 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 that's that's about uh, queries at the beginning. Uh, I would like to create some easier, sorry, uh, some smaller example as a motivating. So let's say we have data, Alice is a person, has image, image, and Bob is a person. And we would, we would like to evaluate only such a simple query as you can see there. So there is a, uh, we want to retrieve, retrieve every person and uh, its image somehow so maybe i would like to ask you here uh, what this query returns 
if you could think of, uh, and we will uh, get later to it. And uh, how we gonna uh, process or, or uh, evaluate this query? Uh, we will first uh, translate the query to the algebra, and then uh, we we infer from that the result. So we will not execute it on on uh, the Sparkle engine, but uh, rather we explain how it works through query algebra. Uh, <coughs> this is quite useful <coughs> to use query algebra because sometimes uh, uh, we don't remember how it exactly works. And, uh, and there are some tools that take query, uh, uh, put it into query algebra, and then you can uh, easily find uh, in specification what operators with, uh, within algebra means. So you can really uh, execute it yourself as an engine. <clears throat> uh, query algebra has many operators. Uh, I would explain some of them. So, for example, this is often used for uh, basic graph patterns. So, so join operator, it just uh, takes mapping from one set and combined it with another set and uh, only return compatible mapping. Then, uh, Another operator is left join, which you I hope you you know from databases, uh, and uh, it's that you have set M one, and you attach set M two, and uh, return only compatible map mappings uh, where M two is compatible with M one. Uh, so you, you just attach the triples or those patterns from, from M2. And this uh, operator has also the condition. So uh, you can also uh, filter some of those triples by condition. I will show it later. So this is just overview of some of those or I would say those most important operators and uh, uh, let's go further. Uh, to translate a query to algebra, uh, here is some simplified algorithm that I found uh, from this resource. Uh, you can have a look later. Uh, and uh, we will use this algorithm to translate the query. Uh, I took very similar query. Basically, it's variant of, uh, of the other query. This is what is uh, in between where uh, clause. And this is how it what it returns. But I just wanted to show slide where uh, both of those pictures are together. So I would go over the, this transformation algorithm. So within the transformation uh, algorithm, uh, you have this on the input and uh, you would like to uh, translate it to the algebra. Uh, <clears throat> First, what you do is you replace all a basic graph pattern with BGP. So here you can see person is a uh, person. So here is this BGP. Uh, then here you can see person has brother sibling. Here is BGP person has brother sibling. Uh, then the other step is you replace all patterns uh, of the form P union Q. So here it is, union BGP, BGP, and here is parentheses and his, here should be closing. Yeah, closing parentheses. Uh, so, so you replace, you replace this part with union. 
and then you start from innermost sequence of expressions. So uh, yeah, I was um, Sparkle allows nested expressions. So here you see nested expressions, and you start from innermost. And uh, what you do is you remove all, all filter expressions and store them combined in conjunction. Uh, what is it? Phi. Uh, yeah. So 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 you store them in conjunctions. So yeah. So here is. Here is filter expression. So country is, is different from Slovakia. So if you would have different filter expression within this optional uh, optional part, you could combine it. So we would say country isn't from Slovakia and whatever filter is it. It does not depend whether this filter is at the beginning or at the end of this this group part, or, or I mean, uh, of this uh, optional optional section. Uh, so filter filter is not dependent on order uh, because at the end you just combined it uh, together with end. But uh, there is no example of that. But uh, you can see that this filter is here. Uh, then initialize result to be empty sparkle expression Z. So as I said, uh, empty group patterns actually returns uh, empty result set. So this is exactly what you do into the result. You put empty, uh, empty uh, sparkle expression. Uh, so you have basically table that match any other table uh, there in R. And then you go, if you find optional with filter, you create left join R, so the result, so this empty table, A is all this, so union together with sibling uh, lives in country and you add the condition from filter here so you can see left join union and uh, uni union and uh, you yeah, sorry Sorry, 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 sorry. There is this join. I forgot about join. Uh, basic patterns are uh, combined together through join. Also, you see here union, so you combine it through join, and then you uh, left join. Uh, person, what's inside of the optional, and you take those filters and you put it here. So again, uh you put this basic pattern here this is this r then you put out uh, what whatever is in optional pattern uh, uh, beside filters and you put those filters filters here the, the conditions from uh, from filters here so yes i hope it is clear uh if if optional doesn't have any filter you just put through here uh otherwise you use join so that's why i i forgot to show show this uh so that's it that's how you translate it to algebra. And if you understand those operators, uh, it should be easy to understand uh, what will be the output of the query. So for example, here uh, we have this motivating, simple motivating example. So we want to uh, uh, execute mm, 
this we have this query there but i would like to show that those queries actually actually return different results although which might be for many people counterintuitive because i would say that here is a person that optionally have uh, an image and somebody would think that this would return same result but it's not true uh, what we'll do is that we do automatic translation uh, i would i will show it later uh, online uh, on uh, using website and uh, when we translate this we would get uh, we start uh sorry sorry yes so we start with this basic pattern then we add it here and put it into left join so uh this means that um uh, to pairs to, to the table containing person we just attach image but here is it's different because we start with optional and we join this empty table here it is called table unit so this empty group pattern as i said uh, and we attach to that table this basic pattern and then we attach uh, this person of type person so the result will be following while this query returns what everybody would expect this is something that could be for somebody confusing because uh it it first bound to to person and only those persons that were bound with image were were tested for being of type person so this is how it works and basically that's it i have here some complex examples and how they translate in this online tool and it would be nice to so so if you have time <laughs> it would be nice if you go over uh over it and uh, try to find out whether they really mean the same or not using the algebra and uh, going to sparkle specification where it is uh, specified what those operator mean you could you could mathematically prove yourself that they are same or not so here are some variants of this query uh, i put here here i instead of union i used property paths here i used just another group pattern uh, another level another nesting i would say uh, so that's it and i will show you uh, how to do how to play with this uh, translation so you have a uh, web page sparkle org query validator and here you just put uh, put your query and you click uh, on include Sparkle Algebra. And it, it shows you this, uh, this algebra as I showed on the picture. There is, I, I was not talking about uh, this project operator, we just, we just take its projection and those other operators that are important for prefixes and stuff like that uh, so this is how you can play with it
but let's try this. Here is this table unit that I was talking about. And also you can put the other query that is more complex to see how it translates. Yeah, maybe this is interesting. A filter not exist. <clears throat> you could see that filter basically uh, uh, always answer true or false. So uh, it's all in the filter, the result of the sub query when you combine it with uh, left join here. Uh, so yeah, that's it. Uh, you have, uh, I included link to translation to Sparkle algebra uh, within Sparkle specification and the Sparkle algebra itself. And also I included link to uh, some lecture where I, from where I took two screens and there is also video which I'm, I'm not sure if it's the same lecture, but uh, there are some slides that I was showing there. Uh, so you can you can uh, find more um, information there. So that's it. Thank you. Thank you very much. And uh, if you have any question, then uh, let's let's talk about it. Maybe I have a question. Can you go back to this first example with uh, the unintuitive result? Intuitive result. Un un unintuitive result where you had like the optional at the first. Yeah, it could be unintuitive for somebody. Well, yeah. Yeah, it's quite unintuitive for me. Um, it is intuitive. It is quite unintuitive to me. So oh, okay. can you okay. can you go can you go to the next slide or the slide with with the algebra translation? Oh, sorry. Algebra translation. Yes. Okay. So if we do the left <coughs> join, then we ask for the. Yes. So we have the image. Okay. So it will yes because it's the unit. Yes. I mean I get it. It will do that. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. So empty but, table combining. What? If sorry, I I asked not very well. If we remove the last triple, the. Pues ahora sumamos. Ya habíamos visto esta. En el caso práctico 2, si tenemos la respuesta correcta, sumaremos 0,50 en cada pregunta. ¿Vale? Si alguien aquí, a ver, menos una persona, no recuerdo quién, que se la he dado por buena.
problema, he dado el 05, ¿vale? Eh, aquí ya lo he dicho, siempre que tuviésemos al menos 3 bien, al menos tendréis 0,25, si lo tenéis todo bien, 0,50 y aquí todos 